it's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. New haircut tutorial video drop fade, and I'm getting busy all 2020. I'm gonna show y'all this from a different angle. Normally, I show it like from this angle right here, but I'm gonna show it from like behind on the opposite side. I feel like that, that would give it a different look so you can kind of see more of what I'm doing to the haircut to the fade as I'm doing it now the drop fade you know you just want to keep it low this is on straight hair and um, the guy he doesn't normally get a lineup you know uh, when he get them he said that the other barbers kind of like mess him up and never tell him or whatever so we kind of created him a lineup because he's extra thin in the front so we're gonna go into that part also after i show you this side so i'm gonna just show you one side of the haircut but you'll have a, a better understanding so here you take your open open blade no guard and you just make your second guideline because the first guideline was broad we did that with the wall detail as you come back open blade right here you take your one guard open and you just stay on that line that you just made that guideline that you just made and you want to kind of fade that out right you see it and you just stay on that line like don't go up too high really just focus on that line that you just made go a little bit above that right and then after that you want to come back you got my one and a half here same thing you stay on that line and just fade 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 stay on that line though stay on the line and you see that boom it's already the fade is already coming together so the concept if you you know you you create a line and take the line away, create a line, take the line away. And you're doing this all within the steps. You go, you know, no guard to one guard to one and a half guard to, this is a three guard. I wanted to use a three guard because I didn't know the two was gonna take too much off. So sometimes I play it safe and I use a three guard. And you see what I'm doing with the three guard here? I'm just, I'm, I'm fading it out, right? And I'm coming back now, I had a two guard. And the two guard I'm still fading so that's what we're doing like now I'm working my way I'm gonna work my way down so I went up to the three guard up some so now I'm coming back down to the two this is the one and a half again boom we hit it you see it and you go open the close with your lever and you know you try to use the corners of the blade a lot especially on straight hair and right here I come back with the one guard because now I'm just doing cleanup work. I, I made all the guidelines. There's no more guidelines to make. So now it's just after you have no guidelines to make, you just come in and you, you clean it up. You see that? I'm I'm actually using the corner of the blade a lot. I'm not using the entire blade. I know it's moving a little fast, so I'll slow it down a little bit. And watch what I'm doing. So I'm staying on those lines. I'm, I'm steady trying to take that bottom line out. You see that? So I'm cleaning it, but actually look at it. I'm using the corner of the blade mostly. It kind of, it's kind of deceiving because it looks like I'm using the whole blade, but I'm actually not. I'm kind of just putting more pressure to one side of it. So that's the thing that you might want to do. Just put more pressure to one side of it when I say use the corner of the blade. And after that, you take that half guard off and you come back no guard because you want to try to remove that bottom line you can see that bottom line you can see a couple other little lines in there we're gonna get that too right i'm using the corner you can definitely see me using the corner of the blade right here let me slow it down for you and here you see i'm using that corner you see that corner i'm using heavy to one side you know i'm going to the right and as i'm coming up towards the left i'm using more of the left corner of the blade you know, with straight hair, I realized that you have to use a lot of the corner of the blade, if you ask me. And if you can't get rid of that first guideline, always use what you made the guideline with to take it out. So, and I'm still using the, the corner method. You see that? You see this fade? This fade is coming out nice. You know what I'm saying? So, remember, it's, it's a gradual, you go up and then you come back down. That's the the basis of fading the way that I fade right so I start with no guard again you see I'm pointing to 
what I don't like, what I feel like needs to be cleaned up in a spot. So you, you can see that and you can spot check and you might have to come back with a bigger guard because I, I don't know exactly what I need to take that off right there, what it's gonna take. I can kind of say maybe I could have used a half guard, skipped some time and made it you know quicker thing, but I didn't. So I kind of wanted to gradually work it out, but I'm still using the corner of the blade. So what I was saying is you would go with no guard you would go to a one guard, right? And then you would go to a one and a half guard, and then, you know, a two or a three, depending on the thickness of the hair, right? And you're just trying to judge it. And then use those same four or five guards or those four or five steps and come back down with it open to close, right? Because it's gonna allow you to gradually work your way in. So. You know, you go open the clothes and you can see the fade. You can see how much you need to use it. Pay attention here. Also, I'm pulling the skin with my thumb. So also pulling the skin is very important. And you know, I'm using a little clip over comb here because I want to take some off the edges. So when I get ready to do the lineup, it's right, right? So I sped it up. I didn't want the video to be extra long so i kind of sped up some of the parts and that's why i slowed it down for you right here as you can see some of the stuff i'm doing but you see the blend i i, I didn't edit anything except i sped it up but those are the steps so just master that concept you know from no guard all the way to the biggest guard that you're going to use and then the biggest guard back down to what you started with open the close and you should get a nice blend right because, uh, you know, sometimes you can try some of these other steps and it seems a little complicated, but the, this way is, is like fail proof almost in a way, right? The, the only thing that's gonna make your haircut better is, after these steps is the detailing. You have to be able to see the bulk and you have to be able to remove the bulk. You understand what I'm saying? So. Pick your spots. Everybody's eyes, eyes are different, and they're going to see it different. That's the beauty of being a barber. It's art, right? Yo, the way you see it on the canvas is, is totally different than the way I see it on the canvas. Now, to the edge up. So, you know I always use spritz here. So, you see what I'm doing? And you just come straight across from the middle. So, I'm showing you this side, and I'm doing my edge ups, line ups, shape ups, whatever you call it showing you from a different perspective also so i just come across right and he's kind of thin in the front you see that but we're gonna make it pop you know what i'm saying we're gonna make it pop now the thing with straight hair it's a little different than over curly hair right over curly is most of my videos but I wanted to incorporate some straight hair into my videos because those thin spots, I want to be able to fill it in, show you what I'm doing with these, right? You see that? Uh, now, sometimes when you do the lineup, you can see some imperfections on your fade or the haircut and you can go in and fix it. That's the good thing about, you know, after you do the line because you can see where everything is supposed to sit at. And take your time, don't push them back you know use points of reference to do everything so you know he looking because he's kind of nervous so here we go so now we're about to get into the to the enhancement part and i'm using the master airbrush system so i leave all these links in the description the tools that i'm using the fiber that i use uh some of the clippers things like that so i use a black on his hair right uh semi-black it's not totally jet black it's a semi-black you kind of want to use something that's gonna match his hair color his hair is like a little brown at the top a little black towards the roots so i decided to use that so now you can see how everything is coming out you see i got the enhancement on there it made it a little sharper I'm going to put a little fiber over the top of it to make it pop just that much better. And he loved the edge of the lineup um, because he's never had a good lineup from what he said to me, right? And I, I believe him. So after this, he don't, he don't have to worry about it. Now, so you see what I was doing with my comb because I'm kind of trying to fade that color in a little bit because I want it to look as natural as possible, 
right? And from right here, you can see it's 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 cool right now. It's cool. So now we're gonna do the other side. The same thing that we did to that one side, we're gonna come back and do it to the other side. Now the thing about spritz, you see how the hair is laying down right there? The spritz is gonna make it lay down, it's gonna make it hard, uh, it's gonna make it clear, you know, stiff and dry. Where when you hit it with your trimmers, you don't have to do a lot of work, like it takes away like the greasiness or you know whatever products a person might use so i'm tapping it and the same thing that you always do start from the middle work your way over to the other side that's all we did so you see it's lying and it's it's natural i didn't like push them back you know that's why we're using the handsomes because we don't want to push them back we want him to be natural up front it's okay that he got gaps and spaces that's lighter than other areas because we're gonna fill it in and we're gonna make it look full just like the other areas that's full too now you see what I'm doing with the lineup uh, I'm, I'm showing you from this angle because I want you to see that I'm not pushing them back you don't have to push them back to create a sharp line in in all fairness this line is already somewhat sharp you know like 10 years ago this is an acceptable line like what on this side like okay he's sharp you know without enhancements but now it's 2020 you know people want enhancements people want to look sharp they want to look good so a lot of barbers criticize barbers for using enhancements and oh well he did this and it don't you know he didn't have to and you never have to do a lot of things but you know, you're in the business of making everything look better because you're an artist at the end of the day we are artists so as an artist put your touch on it you know make it look good as possible make it look 3d you know what i mean so i don't get into all that i used to be against hair fibers and color and stuff like i used to be totally against that stuff but you see how that look now it looks totally different it looks eat that much sharper and all I did was hit him with the, you know, my master airbrush and hit him with the color boom. Now he's looking like, whoa, he ready to go wherever. Like, he's going to get noticed. His haircut is going to get noticed. And you have to understand that Instagram and even people just walking around, they are walking billboards, right? Like, the best way to get clientele is to put out good products. Make it where somebody stops the person and be like, man, where you get your haircut at? I want to go get my haircut by that person. Word of mouth is 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 a big thing. So now I'm using the hair fiber just to like make it pop just that much more because I think it'll give it that extra edge. Maybe he needed it, maybe he didn't. I thought he did, so I did it. You might not think so. I know you're going to tell me in the comments, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? I'm okay with that. You know, so uh, when you put yourself out there to be seen and, uh, you know, people to look at your haircuts, that's what happens. People say things, and it's okay, like I said. So, anyway, this is the haircut. I used the fibers. How do y'all like the haircut? Tell me down in below, you know, rate it from a scale of 1 to 10. You know what I mean? Don't be a hater. Like, if you're going to say you don't like it, give me some constructive criticism. I take that. But you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. Uh, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Amen.